Welcome back, Investigator. Before we begin, we need to do a quick scan to get you back in sync with Providence. Look at your room, then air tap start when you're ready to begin. Hey everyone, Chad here. Uh, just bringing you another video on the Hollands. Uh, this time I ventured outside and wanted to know how I was going to scan the surroundings. And I actually did pretty well. Now this red that you're seeing here is just because I'm kind of uh, done with the play area. Um, so that is what that's about because I was sort of in the middle of my backyard when I started scanning. Um, And you see we hit the uh, red area again. Great. Looks like we are in sync and ready to begin. So I was really impressed with how fragments looked outside. I mean, it was really bright out and everything else, but uh, all the holograms were showing up great. Please look at the memory. Please move to the location marked by the beacon. Please look at the memory. No. No. Let's skip ahead a little bit. That was neat. The uh, little CDs look like they're around my bench. So anyway, I moved to the front yard, uh, over to my uh, uh, front porch, and um, opened up an Edge browser. And was playing a video from Channel 9. If you have not checked out Channel 9, I highly suggest you do so. Hi, my name is Alex Turner. I'm a program manager on the developer platform team that brings you guys Connect. And one of the things I really want to talk to you today about is the Media Capture Frames API. Uh, and you might have heard of Media Capture before. You've probably used it. Uh, if you've done any kind of UWP apps that deal with video or audio or photos, it's that core Windows API that's built on top of Media Foundation. And that's what lets you get that kind of data into your app. And you can do things like encode video with it, bring in audio streams, uh, trigger low lag photography uh, using the camera sensors. So you can do all sorts of fun stuff there. Um, but if you guys are used to the Connect SDK, you're used to a different kind of API that deals in video, one that pulls in a series of frames, but really lets you reason about each frame individually, makes it convenient to get at frames and do computer vision on them, to correlate the different cameras that are giving you these frames so you can figure out how they relate to one another and kind of find pixels across. And so if you want to do those kind of things, you need some extra capabilities that haven't been in media capture up to today, and that's what this new Frames API provides. And for those of you who do Connect, there's some cool new benefits that come with that. Uh, one of them is that we've had... Yeah, I'll just skip ahead the video just a little bit. So here we are. It's kind of cool watching a video about the Connect on the HoloLens. So when I'm outside and can easily see the video, um, it's actually pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat experience. Uh, I have a feeling this is how I'm going to be watching uh, well, let's take a look at videos in the future. Like if I actually close this out and I launch the camera app, this is just a standard Windows 10 camera app. And so if I have an app that's just kind of pulling in media foundation data, I'm able to do all of, the, all of these things. I'm able to have my camera sensors up here on the laptop. I'm able to have my camera sensors that are coming in off of the Kinect. I can do uh, Next time there's a night conference or um, build and I'm unable to go. I'll probably be chilling on my uh, front porch uh, watching it uh, just like that. So yeah, it's pretty cool being able to use the HoloLens outside. Um, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, uh, you'll be good. So if you uh, want to be notified uh, when I come out with new videos, uh, I'll be covering the HoloLens uh, quite a bit more and uh, be getting into some of the development side of things. Uh, so if you're interested in that, then uh, by all means subscribe so you can be notified uh, when I release my next video. I'm trying to get at least one out a week.